Hello YouTube and welcome to another SQLite tutorial. So in this video I will show you how you can optimize the SQLite databases using the vacuum command. So are you ready? Let's get started. So in order to see that in an example, let's connect to this database here on my desktop called people. So I will use the SQLite command in order to connect to it so here we go so let's see the table that it contains so actually here I have just two tables one called country and another one user details so for example let's show some uh, records from the user details so I will select all from user details I will just limit that to the first 10 rows so you can just see some uh, records here okay so now let's see how many records does this table contain okay so I will select count all from user details okay so here we go I have here 100,000 actually rows on my table okay so before I do some delete on my uh, table here let's see the size of my database okay so if I right click and go to properties you can see that my database is actually around 8.7 megabytes okay so remember that we have a database that has a size about 8.6 megabytes. Okay, so now let's delete some records from this table here. So I will execute here uh, SQL statement. So delete from the name of my table, which is user detail, where user ID is greater than 10 so I will just keep the 10 first rows on my table here okay so here we go it will take some time of course okay so now we have deleted all the records that have the ID greater than 10 so if I execute my select statement without the limit I will just have 10 rows okay but let's take a look at the size of my database so if I right click once again I go to properties I have the same size so the size has not been changed how come so actually when you delete some uh, object from your database what happens is that actually these objects are marked as free that's all and they can be used in the future so when you delete uh, a table or a view or trigger or you add and delete some records from your table or, for, or from your database they are just marked out free and also the the data in your table like indexes became fragmented so you have actually to optimize your database in order to clean it okay so let's even try to drop this table here so if I execute the tables you can see that I have two tables let's drop the table user details so I will execute the command drop table and the name of my table which is user details here we go let's see the tables again so I have only one table left if I right click and see the size of my database it's always 8.7 so in order to clean it or to optimize it we have a special command called vacuum so I'll execute this command here vacuum here we go now we have cleaned our database so let's see now the size of my database Et voila as you can see now it's only 8.2 kilobytes and not 
8.7 megabytes. So we have reduced the size, we have fragmented or defragmented actually the object inside my database. So it's a good practice to optimize it from time to time in order to clean it from all the old records and all the deletes and insert that becomes in your database. Okay. So keep in mind to usually from time to time to execute this command vacuum. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.